All right, everyone, here's your uh, elevator tutorial. Uh, hopefully, this is a quick one. All right, so first off, we're trying to get an elevator going from the first floor to the second floor. Um, so it looks kind of like this. By the end of it, you'll have two screenshots, one of uh, elevator and stairs from the bottom floor, and then one from the top floor uh, with the railing in here. All right, so the previous tutorials did cover how to get the stairs in there, so that should get you a good start. Uh, from there, you're going to want to click on this link here where I've uh, given you the the Revit family for an elevator and go and hit download at this point <clears throat> okay. and wherever this downloads if you want to keep it in your downloads folder that is fine uh, personally I would probably save it somewhere that uh, I know I can find it quickly so for example uh, when you just hit download off from Google Chrome it'll just save it in the downloads folder I would recommend saving it uh, in a folder, probably in your home drive. Uh, but for the sake of example here, I'm just going to keep it in my downloads folder. All right, so next up, I'm going back over here to Revit. And currently, uh, I do have one in here, but I'm just going to show you guys. It's just like placing a, a component like usual. Uh, but first off, I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'm going to work off from my ground floor, floor plan. I'm going to go to Architecture, Component, Place a Component. And uh, I already have it loaded up here. It's called the Orion Savaria, something like it's a model of an elevator. Uh, but if you haven't loaded it before, you'll come over here under Place Component, Load Family. And then you go find your file that you just downloaded. Okay, so like I said, mine I just kept in the downloads folder, uh, which for me is under my computer. And as said before, make sure you save it, just save it somewhere where you can find it again. Okay, so here's my elevator that I had just downloaded off from Schoology. I'd hit open, and it will probably upgrade it uh, if you're using, it was from 2018, so it's 2020 now. And once it's in there, you'll see that it's showing up here on my, um, my ground floor plan. And I'm going to go ahead and just place it generally where I want it for now. Okay, after I've placed it, I'll hit escape here, and then... Uh, just like any other component, you know, you can use this rotate tool. So if I want it to, I don't know, face 90 degrees this way, I just rotate it around, something like that. Totally depends on what you want it to do. All right now, the couple things you're going to want to change here is that I'm going to select this again. Uh, you'll notice that it defaults to having three different landings. Right? We only have two floors are on ours. I guess if you want, you can have it go all the way up to the rooftop. That's another option there. But I'm going to just keep it to the two floors. So I'm going to uncheck the third landing. Uh, the other thing is it defaults to having doors opening in either direction. Uh, so you can kind of choose which one you want. You probably, for our case here, you really only want it to open in one direction. And so, you know, I'll just, I'll just choose the right side for now and see how that came out. Okay, so now to better get a better get a uh, to get a better view, um, you'll want to double check and see where these um, elevation val values are. And so the way I like to do this is I just go ahead and create a camera view of the second floor. All right, so I'm going to actually switch over to my second floor, and I'm going to come over to the camera view. I just like to do it right off that little shortcut hit the camera view and let's take a look at what we've got so far okay, you can see that it's actually placed up here and this is actually the I believe oh, it actually found it pretty well so that's the second uh, landing let's see if oops. Okay, I want it to line up to my ground floor right so it has elevation 2 Right now, the third elevation is set to 21 feet, and that's where it's sitting right now. Okay, so in order to change this, I am going to check where my floor is. So if I, in this view, if you want to, you can make it a little bigger. Okay, so I'm just checking to see right now that my floor, so I'm going to select the floor, the elevation of this floor right now is at the top. It says right here, elevation at top is 20 feet and 4 inches. All right, so I'm going to click on my elevator and make sure that this is actually 
set to the same thing. Okay, so landing to elevation 20 feet. Oops. Let me try that again. 20 feet and 4 inches. Hit apply. And it should have brought up that door now to that 20 foot 4 inches. And you know, just for sake here, I'm going to check and see if this makes a difference. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to set both of those to the top of my floor so that way my door actually lines up to the top section of that floor. Right, And right now I have an extra railing in there, so that's why it looks extra, a little crazy. Um, and then personally, on my original design there, you see that I added some curtain walls going around the side. I personally really like elevators that you can kind of see it moving. Um, so that's, been, that's kind of what's happening there. All right, so... Uh, for you, again, you wouldn't have this railing, you'd have it open up so that the elevator actually works, but I'm just putting in a second one here, for example. Uh, and then also, if you want to double check, I would go back to my ground floor and do another camera view from this side. Camera view over here, and let's see what it looks like on the bottom. Okay. It's a little bit zoomed in right now, but if I pull this over something like that okay I can see my elevators in there like I said there's no walls built into it so you have to add some walls I personally use curtain walls uh, you can use any wall really just to enclose it and um, besides that I think that should be about it for the elevator um, if you have any questions about it let me know um, also for your final submission instead of keeping it in this wired frame I like to change it to realistic and um, and then you can kind of see it in real time there. Like I said, you'll need to add some walls to this. But if you're looking at the uh, top floor, right? Uh, let me change this to realistic now. Right, you can see that the elevator is up on the second floor right now, um, and you can change it accordingly. All right. Okay. Good luck, everyone.